Hi, this is Gwen from Hair Bow Supplies, etc. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pinwheel bow with tails. You will need 21 and a half inches of 7 8 inch ribbon, a lined alligator clip, a lighter needle and thread, a measuring tape, hot glue, a jumbo clip, and scissors. Okay, let's get started. First, you are going to take your ribbon and you are going to fold it towards you this way and we want to measure four and a quarter inches long okay so just about there right and then we're going to line up this ribbon halfway in between the other and we're going to slide our jumbo clip down the ribbon like this. Then we're going to take the ribbon and fold it over towards me. And we're making another loop. We're going to leave just about a quarter of an inch out here for room. Okay, and then once we have that looped, like here, lined right next to each other, you're going to take your jumbo clip and slide it back down and we're going to fold this under. You want this these two parts to match. So we're going to try to line them up. Okay. Now I'm going to take my jumbo clip again, hold this with your fingers and put your jumbo clip back down, okay? Now we're going to fold this back over one more time towards me make sure that these two parts are lined up correctly and then you're going to hold all of these things together with your fingers take your jumbo clip out and add that next part in uh, line it up and center it okay so this is what it should look like it may take you a few times to get it where it needs to be centered. Okay, now the loop on this side and this side do need to be even and so I have measured this. It should be about an inch and three quarters on one side and an inch and three quarters on the other side. If it is not right, you want to move your clip to the left and the right to make it as even as possible. Okay, now that that looks as even as you can, we're going to get our needle and thread. And what I do with my needle and thread is I loop it the two first. I, I take two pieces and line it through the hole first so that they're at the bottom there's this little loopy loop at the bottom. I hope that makes sense. So when you, when you take your needle and thread and you thread it, you put the two through the eye of the needle first. So you have a loop at the bottom. It just helps me, but it's not necessary or absolutely important that you do it. Okay, so now that this is all centered, you're going to take your needle and thread and you're going to start sewing through the bottom and up through your bow. in and out. Now I'm going to take my needle and put it through the top here, pull it down and I'm going to get this end of my thread here and push that back through.
to the other side. Okay. So the ribbon is going towards the back. Then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to loop it through this bottom part here. And I'm going to hold on to my ribbon and I'm going to start pulling the ribbon. And then what we're going to do is this is going to gather together. So I'm going to hold on to the ribbon and the thread real carefully. And while it's pulling, you're holding on to it. And it's gathering like this. Okay. Then you take your needle and thread. And you're going to go up through the clip. And you're going to go down through the clip. And we're just going to wrap this around one more time just to make sure it's good and tight. like this. Okay. Then we're going to take it out of the clip here. This always happens to me. <laughs> Every time I do this bow. Okay. So now that it's back around, pull it tight real good. Again, wrap it around another time or two. Up around okay now we're going to secure the back so we're going to flip it around to the back take your needle and thread and then you're just going to put your needle through the back of some of the ribbon in the back pull it through and then we're going to um, secure it off And then just get your scissors and cut. Okay. So at this point, this is where you want to shape your bow. Make sure that it's even. You can fluff it how you like. You can make it flat, or you, I kind of always like to fluff mine a little bit and kind of make the loops go out a little bit because I think that looks cute. Um, so just like that. Okay, so now we're going to take the edges and we're going to um, finish those edges. So then you take your end, fold it in half, crease it, get your scissors and cut it on an angle. And there you go. And then you take your lighter and then you just um, finish that. And then the other side, you fold it over and crease it. Okay, now we're ready to finish our bow. You're going to take a piece of 3 8 Swiss ribbon. This is about four and a half inches long, and you'll make a knot. Just like this. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and seal the edges. Make that easier. Now I'm going to get my hot glue and I'm going to put the knot right down in the center. So just put a dot of glue in the center and then you put your knot right there in the middle. Okay, flip it over to the back. And then we'll get our hot glue again and put a line of glue get your lined alligator clip and go ahead and press it down All right, then you'll open up your clip pinch it open and we're going to bring down this 3 8 ribbon here so you'll just I, think I need to trim that just a little bit You'll just get a little bit of glue in the middle, 
bring down this 3 8 ribbon to the middle. Okay, and then pinch open your clip again, put some more glue down in the middle, and then bring up that bottom part. And just hold that for a moment, remove your excess glue. Okay, now we bring it back over to the front and we just make sure that the bow is nice and fluff the way you'd like it and that there's no excess glue on the bow. And that's how it's made. So thank you so much you guys for joining us and have a great day.